kids um because I, I feel like a lot of parents they like you're saying they're not in the know like they're 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 worried about okay i've got a roof over my head for my kid my kid has food to eat my kid has clothes to wear to school those are a lot of times i feel parents main focus you know those basic essentials but they're so unaware of everything else going on so is there anything that you can say to those parents to make them more in the know Oh, that's a great question, Taylor. And I got to tell you, I do a lot of community nights where it, the parents bring their families to the community nights. And they're, they're always a lot of fun because we do the schools during the day. Then we invite uh, families to come back at night. And the kids are like, my, I love best, that. <laughs> my best advertiser, they're like, mom, dad, you got to see this, you know. And the one thing I, I could say that to parents is that, man, stop trying to be your kid's best friend. Just be the best parent. Kids, kids need boundaries. You know, kids, there's got to be structure. And sometimes that we've, we, we give a, we give a, 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 an iPhone to a, to an eight year old kid. You have no idea what you're opening up to this, this, this young child to the, the violence that kids see. I see kids so desensitized to violence today. You know, I mean, I remember when I was younger, when I first saw something really violent, it was a, a killing and it was like affected me. It was like, made, it kind of made me nauseous. You know, but when you see this every day and you go, oh, look at this guy get shot in the head. Look at this guy get his head chopped off. Or, you know, it's like it desensitizes kids to violence. And then, of course, the video games on top of that, the shooting, the killing, um, it's just overwhelming. And I'm, and then I can go another step further. The pornography these kids are seeing at such a young age now. I remember these kids open up and talk to me about these things. And it is so common. And parents have no clue. They just think, oh, I trust my child. They would never do that. Oh, there's punishment if I catch them. Oh, please. You know, these peer pressure is so much stronger than you think your rules are. Man, spend time with your kid. Talk to them. Let them feel like they can come to you if there's a problem. Some kids are so scared or the, my, parent, my parents will never understand. Well, start talking like you. They, they, they make them feel like you will understand, you know? Maybe punishment isn't the exact thing they need at the time. Maybe it's the love and understanding they need at that time to show them and give them boundaries. You know, these are the things that I see really need to change. You know, um, I've been doing this, like I said, for 13 years. And the thing that I'm seeing that happen, ha the worst thing I'm seeing, forget about bullying and all that other stuff. It's the breakdown of the family. Very seldom do I meet kids that have a regular structured meal with their parents. And it's like everybody's on their own. Kids are in the room playing, you know, video games or on their, their iPhone or, or whatever it is. They're, you know, our, our, our smartphone, it's, it's outsmarted us. And it's really time that we take back our families. I, I, uh, I'm so relieved to hear you say that. Um, when I was teaching, I had four-year-olds that had better phones than I did. And instead of wanting to interact with the other children or listen to what was supposed to be going on, they were just... Yeah. with cell phones and iPhones and tablets instead of worrying about how to spell their name and hold the hold the pencil properly they were just 